So what's nice about the molecule that we work on is that it can be used in many different ways. And the way that we've gone about trying to find a better way to do uh, what we're doing is to utilize what we know from what the bacteria does and try to change it. And the way we try to change it is we want to change the way that the host sees this molecule. Usually what happens is, is that if you see this molecule, we have a very strong uh, response to it, a very strong negative response, because the body's recognizing that there's an infection and it wants to fight it off. Well, because we can modify it, one of the nice things that we've been able to do is we've been able to make molecules that potentially could fight sepsis, which is a, a very dramatic and a very debilitating uh, outcome of the body recognizing uh, a bacterial invader. And what we want to do there is, instead of having this pro-inflammatory, this adverse molecule, we want to find a way to take away all the negative parts, but still allow its ability to bind to the receptor and stop that processes. Not only do we want to do that, but if we don't take away all of its ability to be recognized and just leave just a little bit, what it allows us to do is make something called an adjuvant, which is a component of a vaccine, because if you just gave a protein or a carbohydrate to someone, they won't recognize it nearly as well as when you mix into an adjuvant. So to do this work, we have married up with a couple of different people, both on campus and off campus. For the adjuvant work, we've been very lucky to work with Metamune, um, which is a corporation over in Gaithersburg, Maryland. And for doing a lot of the antisepsis work, we needed to know structure. And the way we understand structure, structure is by analyzing it or looking at it using mass spectrometry. So in the School of Pharmacy, there is a mass spec expert that I've been collaborating with both before I got here uh, and now who is Dr. David Goodlett. So our labs have come together to really champion this idea of understanding the structure and how it affects the function and then how we can predict going forward in the future to advance what we already know to something that we don't know yet because now we have a rational idea of how the process works.